Hello, you are watching Proactive Investors and joining us in the Sydney studio is Leslie Chong, the CEO of Imugene. Hi Leslie, thanks for coming in today. Thanks so much for having me. Now I understand you've got an exciting announcement for your company today. Um, new clinical data to announce following an international conference over the weekend. Can you tell us about the conference and what you are talking about today releasing for your company? That's right. Um, so we have an oral presentation that we just presented at at a international conference called um, ESMO. It is short for uh, European Society of Medical Oncology, and it's specifically in gastrointestinal esophageal disease. We have a presentation there that was peer reviewed and admitted, um, and our top leading um, enrolled doctor from Georgia is presented on our findings. So just um, kick off also by telling us, for those who don't know about Imugene, the, work, the important work that you're doing with cancer. Sure, so uh, Imugene is a biotech company squarely in the immuno-oncology space, meaning we essentially wake up your immune system against a particular cancer target, and in this case, it's a gastric uh, malignancy, and it's called HER2. So if you have too many of these receptors sending sig signals to your cells, it multiplies at such an accelerated rate that it's quite um, devastating. And we have a product called Hervax, that we have an anti-HER2 for, and it's a cancer vaccine. Um, we have been developing it in phase 1B, so we've completed that portion of the study, and we're currently in phase two. So that's what you presented to the conference on the weekend. Whereabouts was the conference too, by the so way? So it was in Barcelona, Spain. Yeah. yeah, lovely. And what was the data? What did it show, and what did you release about it? So we have ongoing patients uh, in our highest dose that we selected as our optimal dose that we took into uh, phase two and we have a patient, um, a significant decrease in their tumor size, or up to 80% decrease in their tumor burden or tumor size um, at the last scan. So we were able to present on day 266. So that's very uh, promising news for the company and for cancer. What are the next steps now? Where, did, where does this take you for the company? So one of the things that I wanted to really focus on this year is to land on the stage of these major cancer conferences. And all these cancer conferences, you have to go through a lot of committees before you're admitted. And we have been already selected um, and presented at ASCO GI or ASCO Gastrointestinal, um, AACR. Um, we had three presentation there, and, and even at ASCO where we got to be in front and center stage across all these pharma companies, as well as now um, ESMO GI. So well done with that. And any other news or um, projects you're working on with the company? Sure. So we are very much um, in the middle, uh, working um, in our phase two of our HERVAX. We've got BVAX ongoing as well as our PD-1 VAX. And I'd be interested to know um, your particular vaccine there on the world stage. How does it compare to anything else that's out there at the moment? So one of the things that's unique about our product is that there isn't really necessarily anything that we could compare directly. However, I think the world is coming um, on to the idea of waking up your B cells as opposed to another mechanism of action uh, in immunotherapy. We specifically focus on getting your B cells activated against your immunities. We think it's safe. It's because we have an endogenous um, or your own body producing antibodies or drugs against a particular target. Um, but if if I have to say, I think we are really leading the path on this. And there are other examples of synthetically made antibodies that are garnering a price tag of $8 billion a year. Gosh. However, those are synthetically made um, and comes with um, interesting toxicities, whereas ours, so far, we haven't seen any um, untoward toxicities specifically caused by our product. So it's promising. Uh, the cost of goods to make our product is quite low, so I think it gives a little bit more of a range for farmer companies and that flexibility of pricing. You know, that's the big sort of conversation these days of the price of medicine, and, and hopefully um, Imugene could add to alleviating some of those burdensome costs. 
So what's the end game now for your company? So I think an end game for most uh, biotech companies of my size is to really partner with Big Pharma. And one of the things that I wanted to do this year that I've been able to accomplish is to get them and get our products in front of the Big Pharma at major cancer conferences. And, you know, we have um, several shots on goal here and the deal sizes are only getting bigger and bigger for immuno-oncology therapy. So as we gather more data, I think it's going to be much more interesting to big pharma and biotech companies. Exciting times. Leslie Chong, thanks so much for your time and coming in today, as I said. Thank you. That's Leslie Chong from Imugene.